Hello everyone, my name is Benersham, and welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to build this farm that works in both Java and Bedrock. This time, I have made sure to research that it does work in Bedrock, unlike in my last video. I apologize for not doing that last video, but it does have the same disclaimers of it was tested in Java, It this time it should work in Bedrock. If not, please tell me in the comments below. Rates will vary because this is a smaller farm. It varies less than the other farm that I made. And finally, things may change, so be ready for that. But guys, with those out of the way, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to build this farm in either Bedrock or Java that produces over a thousand frog lights an hour. So, let's get right into it. So guys... To start off this farm, you're going to need to find one of these big guys, a Bastion Remnant. And once you find one of them, you're going to want to go inside. I'm going to be in creative because I, I don't enjoy raiding Bastions that much. But if you guys want to see me eventually raid a Bastion, I'm going to be doing that over on Journey. And if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe because that... That's the best way to get notified when I upload a video. But guys, you're going to want to go around and down to the center of Bastion. And not fall in lava. But you're going to want to search for one of these rooms. Because they're going to have our Mamacube spawner. And quite a few nice other things. Like seriously, this is a good chest. You're going to want to clear out all the brutes here and make sure you're wearing gold because the brutes don't care and the piglins hurt a lot as well this is just precaution so that you know you don't die like that guy did and once you do that you're simply gonna want to take any block i'm just gonna use the blocks in here and you're gonna want to start prepping this spawner like you would any other spawner so I'm gonna play replay of me just getting that set up And guys, once you've set up a basic room so that all of them are stuck in here, what you're going to want to do is go down one block at a time and just, you know, go down two blocks, one block at a time. That's about it. And once you've done that, I will tell you guys exactly what you need to do after that to get this farm done. Be right back. So guys, once you have done that, you're going to want to just do this. And once you've done that, just get out of here. I do recommend bringing a potion of like fire resistance and invisibility. It'll make it so much easier to do this. But guys, once you have done that, you're going to want to place this here. 
break down until you see that little spot. Just find where you place that spot. And yeah. Once you make it through here, you're going to want to block off all the lava. And find where you broke that hole. You want to break it near the middle or near the side. Honestly, you can place it wherever. But once you have done that, not a chair, get a chest and place a stair above it. Any stair will do. I'm just going to use a deep slate tile stair. And yeah, once you've done that, you can break back in. You can even place like doors here just for maintenance. But yes, once you've done that, you can head in, kill all these magma cubes. You're going to get in the way very easily. And just start running a hopper line into this chest. And once you get these hopper, this hopper line running into the chest, that fills the entire platform. Oh great, I still have my, my test command on. That's cool. Thought I broke those command blocks. But yeah, you're going to want to run your hopper line into these, into this. But yeah, my test command basically will add one score to uh, scoreboard and that is how I test these and then it kills the baby mammy cube but only if it's a baby but guys you're just gonna want to fill this in and yeah I'll be back once I've done that And guys, once you have done that, you're going to want to grab some powder snow. Now, for the powder snow, just build either stripes like this, if you want it to be most efficient with your powder snow, or you can just fill the whole platform. I'm just going to do stripes for now because that's going to be much simpler and to show that it does work on these guys. They will start taking damage and start splitting up except for the baby ones that will be eaten by the frogs. And yeah, that's your farm done. That is your entire farm done. Just make sure none are spawned on the outside. If they are, just build up your walls a bit more. And yeah, that's your farm. You can run down here. You can expand the storage system if you want. But guys, I do hope you all enjoyed. Um, this was a fun farm to make. And I'm glad that I was able to figure out a farm that works for Bedrock and for Java. And one that just works for Java. Because that means there's even more farms for everyone to use. But guys, I do hope you did enjoy. And I'll see y'all in the next one. And with that, shrimp out.